Hey, hi, and welcome. Hey, Goof, how you feeling? Hey, my girl. You don't go too far. It's cold out there. She's like, oh, he's going to make a whole bunch of noise. We got the ramp for her there, so. It's looking a lot better today, that's for sure. I have to keep my eye out on her. So, I'm going to make a quick video here. It is very cold out today. I was just seeing snowflakes a couple of minutes ago. It uh, warmed up to about plus four there now. It's May 8th. So, yeah, so she's just going to stay there. After a little incident yesterday. Sorry, table's a bit messy. But what I got here are some mason jars. I wanted to do a video on this. So I got some mixed beans. Uh, these were like, when you get a bag, that's like kind of a little bit left in each bag. I got turtle beans. I got mixed beans. I got uh, peas. Green peas. Chickpeas. Turtle beans, and black turtle beans, and uh, kidney beans. Now, what else I got here is, okay, the mason jar. This is a prep. I know it's more fun to talk about firearms and hunting knives and camping and survival stuff. But this is probably the best prep you could possibly buy is mason jars. And you can get them in all various sizes from jam jars. These are, unless you're making like jam stuff maybe you're making some minced garlic or maybe you're making uh you know jams little jams these are uh, they're basically unless you got something specific those little ones aren't as good but little relish jars like this and jams and uh uh strawberries canned strawberries these are good little preservative jars here probably the most useful size jar you can get you can do canned potatoes with this and there's a few sizes in between and, and uh, there's even the, the real big big ones there actually i'll grab you a really really big one um there's different lid sizes most of them take the same size lids unless you get the wide mouth the wide mouth masons hang on so uh, get you a big one in here and we've got jars like that oh there we go there we go don't want to drop the flower here because that would be a disaster yeah here's a the one in the back even bigger? I think the one in the back's even bigger. I think. Oh yeah, this guy's just a this guy's a monster. Let's get him. He's got oatmeal. Uh, no, okay, guess guess. Uh, yeah, so then I'll bring out the racing one just to give you a size comparison of what I'm talking about. And that there is about uh, five and a half pounds of rice. You might not think of it that way, but if you start thinking of it in those terms. Uh, you get a lot of rice in there. You can start to plan out by weight how much you're going to eat. And so, so you can see the size difference here. These things are monsters. So these, uh, unless you got really bulky things to put in there, I wouldn't put like canned potatoes in anything bigger than maybe this one. Um, but this one's uh, this one's really good for a lot of stuff. But maybe say like. Uh, uh, you know, again, like the rice and stuff like that, or pickled eggs, or um, I don't know, uh, uh, let's say you like uh, pickled relish, and it's like a year supply right in there, um, or sauerkraut, or so, something that you're going to eat a lot of, and um, do it that way. Um, now, let me show you the lid. So this is a, your typical ring. You'll have to buy these, obviously. And then this is the seal. So these seals, they are reusable a few times, sometimes. Sometimes you get one seal, but there's like a rubber, this is like a rubber. And um, what happens is it gets distorted so then it won't seal properly, or you can see like the, it gets banged up. So if you haven't used, uh, usually what you do is you keep the ring and, there my kitty cat. Meow. There we go, anyway. Um, Usually what you do is you keep the ring forever and ever and ever, but they do corrode from time to time. I'll just show you this one. Like, so some of them, you know, uh, if they're, they're corroded like this, I would be hesitant to use them in the canning process because you don't want them to corrode the um, actual lid, the seal. Uh, but you can buy these replaceable, not super expensive. Uh, just to show you, this is like a, a regular like pickle jar lid or something like that. And these things are no, like they, they have the same kind of concept, but you can only usually use these once. Um, so these are no good as canning jars. They won't usually won't fit anyway, but if you're thinking of just using your old spaghetti sauce jars to recan, 
It may or may not work. I've heard people have mixed emotions with it. These, they work. They work great. Um, sometimes, like I say, you get a couple of uses out of them. But uh, a lot of times you replace this part. But you can still keep it for dried stuff. Like these are all used lids and these are all dried. I will be doing some other canning stuff. Uh, maybe you might want to make uh, big cans of spaghetti sauce or something that uh, chili, uh, anything like that in the big ones. So the big ones, they do have, you can use them for anything, but you, you got to understand, you, you open that up, that takes a long time to use all that. Like that that's quite a few meals in there at, at about five and a half pounds. Um, so yeah, this is just uh, something, a prep that I thought was very, very important. See how I'm doing for time here. Um, to really, guys, now's the time to pick this stuff up because here's what you're not realizing is, okay, yes, we already seen the, the TP uh, apocalypse. <laughs> you know, when the uh, our friend showed up, Mr. C-19 showed up, and we saw people run to the store and buy hordes and hordes of toilet paper. Just imagine what it's going to be like when they realize how valuable these things are. Um, I mean, how much food is right here, right in front of you? Like, I mean, how many meals can I make with this? I don't know. How many soups? How many uh, rice pudding? <laughs> you know, I mean, you can fill this with raisins or something. You, you, so you could dry can it. This is what I would recommend for people, particularly in the city that have no canning equipment, no access to land to farm. I recommend these type of things too, because they do store well. And if you put the lid plus oxygen absorbers in there, uh, these things will seal down, you know, like you, you, you close them, you'll seal them down. They'll be so airtight. You, you could store things for years in there, years. Um, you know, like this rice has been in there for a long time, probably eight years. Still good. <laughs> you know, there's an oxygen absorber in there. Oh, no, I took it out because I already opened it up. Sorry. Yeah, because it was full almost to the top. Uh, I will do more things on canning as I go. Because this, I think, is uh, this is your salvation you're looking at right here. But these things are going to be worth gold. Something like this might be worth a hundred bucks worth of trade in the near future, uh, within a couple of years if the grid really takes a massive hit. Just because it's the the, the usefulness of it. Um, some of these jars are probably older than I am. I, I kid you not. Like uh, you know, you know, when did they buy this mason jar? I don't know. I mean, uh, there's no years on these things usually uh but uh you know like they're, they're they, they, you use them and use them and use them i mean some of those might have come from my grandmother when did she buy them you know what i mean um and up up in the countryside you you, you kind of hey check it out there's a purple bean in there oh, two purple beans yeah that's cool the rest are <laughs> i hope they're not bad um uh but like these little jam jars these are usually like people give you know like little old ladies that Give me and my dad like jams. Yeah, you guys are you guys are not eating well, so here have some jam, and then you get the jams, you get the lids, and then you, you try to remember and be like, this is my aunt's. I got to give these back. Best pickle relish that was ever in there. Oh, that stuff was so good. But just start really appreciating these things for what they can do for you, because um, I know a lot of preppers think in terms of mobility and stuff like that. No, these things aren't great for moving around. They're really more of a cold storage pantry kind of thing but it's the fact that you sterilize the jar you put your product in it uh throw in an oxygen absorber for the long-term stuff for the short-term stuff there's still a cut like just the way these things are without any uh, oxygen absorbers in there uh, th they could store for a couple of years like that probably you know as long as it's in a cool dry place and there's no condensation in them the fact that it's glass it doesn't break down like plastics um these lids have a coating on them. It's like a, I don't know, if it's, it's like a very smooth powder coating or whatever. And then the rubber seal. These things, yeah, they're, they're you know, it's food grade. Uh, you know, like, I mean, this will last forever. Now, let's say you can't get a lid. Well, you could do the old-fashioned method with the wax and the, and the uh, cheesecloth and, and, and the, you know, and, and whatever, and the wax again. Um, it's the jar itself is just so valuable. Uh, the, you know, like, look at canning methods uh, from years ago definitely put these on your prep list even if you don't have a canning machine um now you say well my stove will be a good canning machine well no it won't because uh, just to finish up the problem you have with a stove is that you tend to burn out the um you tend to burn out the elements 
unless you have a gas powered stove, then that's the way to go. So anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. So I'll leave it at that. What just happened to my camera? I think I hope I didn't uh, mess anything up. But there we go. Uh, the uh, yeah, the the importance of these mason jars. Pick them up now while the while you can still get them. That's that's all I'll say. All right, there we go. And again, I got lots more mason jar stuff coming up uh, in the near future. All right, have a great day, everybody.